Hello, today I'd like to show you how to make a road using Adobe Illustrator. We'll start this road with one path and we'll just continue to duplicate that path until we have our road. So in Illustrator we'll click File New and I'm going to use the web preset 800 by 600 and by default, I leave this Align New Objects to Pixel Grid turned on. I like this feature in CS5. So click OK. And you see we're at 144% here. I like to view this actual size 100%. Alright, so we'll begin this with, we'll click our pen tool. And first, let's go over here and let's turn our fill off. We, we don't want any fill on this. We just want to use stroke. So we will click in the center of our document and come down and see our smart our green smart guide there showing us that we're lined up with our first point or anchor and click and that gives us our straight line okay let's go over here in the appearance panel and you see we our strokes black and it's one pixel so let's click on one pixel and let's make this a lot wider let's click 40 pixels all right so this will be our black top for our road We'll need to duplicate this, click this button right here, duplicate selected item, and we'll change this width to about 36. We'll decrease by 4 pixels and change the color to white. That'll give us our white lines down the side of the road. Alright, with that top layer selected, let's duplicate that path again, duplicate selected items. This time let's change our color back to black. And we'll decrease that stroke width by 4 pixels down to 32 pixels. You see we got our white lines down each side of the road here. Alright, with that top layer selected, let's duplicate that. And we'll change this to yellow. This will give us our yellow line down the center of the road. And we'll have to go change this down to maybe 4 pixels. Yeah, we'll make it four pixels. All right. Now click your selection tool and just click out of that so we can see what we got going on. Yeah, I am going to change that, that width down to three. Okay. And with that stroke layer still selected, and click my direct selection tool and click that stroke layer. It's still selected. And change that down to three pixels. And then let's click this dashed line option in the stroke panel. Alright. Then you see that our dashes are 12 pixels apart. That looks that looks pretty good. Alright. So in the appearance panel at the top up here you've got this little thumbnail. We can save this as a graphic style if we was to create a, another road instead of having to go through all those steps we can just apply the graphic style to our path. So under window, go down and click graphic styles, and then click this little thumbnail here in your appearance panel. Click and just drag that into your graphic styles panel. Alright, if we go over to our pen tool, and we'll click and we'll just drag out a road that crosses our first road. And I pull down shift and just drag out a curvy road here. Something like that. I can take our selection tool and drag it. Just click on that graphic style. I can I can name that graphic style road. All right. Now we got two roads across each other. I can move that road down a bit if I want. And say I'm making a map to show somebody how to get to my house. So I can take this text tool, type on a path tool, and I'll go over here in the layers panel, and I'm going to, you see I got the straight path, and I've got that curved path. We've only got two paths in this. So with this straight path, I'll just drag it down and duplicate it, click on that top path, and I can set my color to white for this top, and I don't want any stroke on that. All right. And I'll click on this path. Well, I have to change my color here. 
So we'll change we'll change the color to white. We'll use Myriad Pro and we'll make the font size about 18. Okay. And then I'll just call this, say I live right off of Big Highway. So there's Big Highway. And then if I want to name the road that I live on, I can duplicate that path, select it, click on a text on a path tool, change the color to white, Myriad Pro, 18 points. All right. This is the road that my house is on. All right. And then if I wanted to add a little icon to my house, you can go into symbols panel here and there's some stock symbols that come with Illustrator. You can just click on the little house and drag it out to the end of your road. Something like that. Alright, I hope you found this little technique useful. Enjoy!